everyone, I'm Kelly D, and today I'm going to share with you how to make a favorite Bajan dish. It's actually part of our national dish, which is cuckoo and flying fish. Today, we're going to make steamed flying fish. So delicious. So, let's go over the ingredients. We have about 10 flying fish. Now, I would have removed the head. I'll link the video in the description box below and in the icons above to show you how we can get the fish done like this. 10 flying fish. This is soaking in lime juice and salt just to remove that rawness from it. We have half of a potato which I have chopped. It's soaking in water because the potato will start to oxidize once it's peeled. So we keep it in water so it will remain white. We have half of an onion. Now part of it is chopped and part of it is in onion rings. It looks really good when you have steamed flying fish if you have the onion rings on top. We have half of a sweet pepper and three cloves, three cloves of garlic, which we have chopped. We have our favorite Bajan seasoning, about five tablespoons of Bajan seasoning. I'll also link in the description box below or the icons above to show you how to make Bajan seasoning. And of course, some additional dry seasoning. We have half a teaspoon of curry, half a teaspoon of paprika, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning, half a teaspoon of white pepper, half a teaspoon of basil, and half a teaspoon of oregano. Then we have about four tablespoons of ketchup and oil for sauteing. Half of a tomato sliced. Now we're going to get ready to season our fish. We would have washed it off. Remember we had it soaking in lime and salt for a few moments, but if we keep it in the lime and salt too long, that will start to cook the fish. So we washed it off. Now we're going to season it. We're going to take our Bajan seasoning and we're going to put it right in between the crevices of the fish. When we would have deboned our fish, we would have left these spaces along the sides. We're going to fill these spaces with seasoning. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to season all of the fish. Then I'll show you how to roll them before we get, get ready to steam them. is fully seasoned we need to prepare the fish to steam now there are two ways that we can do this we can either put the fish in half like this just put it completely in half and press it down gently and it stays like this and we're going to put this to steam as is or the more popular way is to roll the fish and we're going to squeeze the two ends together the fish must be very compact and we're going to roll nice and tight and we're going to roll now some persons for security reasons they get a toothpick just to make sure it's in nice and tight but if you don't have to use a toothpick then you don't use the toothpick but if you have to use a toothpick you can just stick it in just like this to make sure it stays so here we have it with the toothpick with the toothpick and without the toothpick or if you have it just in half like this this is the last one that we are rolling so we are now going to get ready to steam Okay, we're going to get ready to make, to steam our fish. So first thing, we're going to put the oil in. The pan is nice and hot, so we're going to put the oil in because we're going to saute the potatoes first. You know, the potatoes will actually take the longest to cook, so that is the first thing we're going to put in. I would have removed the water, so we're going to just saute our potatoes for a few minutes. So we're going to continue to build right now. So we're going to add our onions, our garlic, and our sweet pepper. And we will allow them to saute as well. 
So you must turn the heat down, make sure it's low. And it smells really good. Onion and sweet pepper always smells great in the kitchen. And now we're going to add all of our seasonings because we need the potatoes to be well seasoned as we're as they're cooking. Oops, got that garlic in there. Oh, I just wish you could smell this. This is so good. We're gonna just add a tip of water because it's starting to look a little dry and I don't want it looking dry. It smells really good. We add some more. We're gonna add a bit more water and then we're going to adjust our seasoning and allow this to boil and then allow this to simmer. Then we're gonna add our fish. We're gonna put in our Bajan seasoning now. We will have seasoned our fish with the Bajan seasoning. Then we're gonna take the remnants and we're gonna add it right now. We're also gonna add our ketchup and then we just allow it to simmer. Allow the flavors of our seasonings and everything to develop. We'll taste it just to see if our seasoning needs adjusting and then we're going to add our fish. Now we're getting ready to add our fish. So as it's boiling nice and vigorously, we're gonna turn the heat down. Then we're gonna add our fish. Now we would have had three different types. We have the fish here with the toothpick in. For those persons who when you roll your fish, it always comes apart. That's for the beginners. You can just stick a toothpick in it, or you can do it like some of the professionals and just roll it. But when you place it on the inside, make sure you have the side where it's closed down to stop it from opening. Or you can have it laying flat like this and just place it right down. So we're gonna put all of our fish in now and then we'll allow it to steam. We're gonna add our tomatoes at the end. You know, tomatoes don't take a long time. So we just add the tomatoes to add additional flavor. So we're gonna add the tomatoes in and make sure we allow the fish to be covered completely by our liquid. And we'll keep it at a low temperature and allow it to steam. That's the name steamed flying fish. In another two minutes or so, our steamed flying fish will be done. You can adjust the seasoning at any time from now if you think it needs a little bit of something, but this is perfect. The only thing left to do now is to taste. Mm -hmm. Our steamed flying fish is done. It smells good, it looks good, and I'm pretty sure it tastes good. You'll see there's some that I rolled with the toothpick for those amateurs, you know, you may roll it and it may come apart, or there are those who may just roll it and it stays. Somehow, every time my husband rolls flying fish, it just stays intact. He just has that down to a science. But for those of you who, when you roll it, you believe it's gonna fall apart, it will open when it hits the heat, you can secure it with a toothpick. Now, it's time to taste. Oh, it looks good, it's so soft. Mmm. It just melts in your mouth. Steamed flying fish? Now you need to try it.